Greetings everybody, Terry here at D-Lab. I know that I've put on a string of ham radio videos lately and some of you have been emailing me say, hey man, what'd you do? Kick the guitar amps to the curb? No, I've just been busy, okay? So, I thought, all right guys, you want some guitar amp fun? Here it is. I'm gonna show you how to convert an old, nasty, rusty tube police radio into something useful. How about a boutique three watt guitar amp featuring a 6K62? I'm gonna take you through this whole process and I actually had somebody here that played it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're back into guitar amps. Well here we go. We're gonna test the little police radio amp using a audio generator as the input. We also have a dummy load hooked up and the oscilloscope is looking at the output. I'm going to eject approximately 1 kilohertz at 100 millivolts. Bring up the volume. Let's take a look on the scope. You see she starts out pretty clean, but watch when I crank it. Look at there. So if you hammer on this amp, it's going to give you 3 watts of excellent distortion for recording. It's a very cool little amp. All you have to do is find one of these radios, gut it out, convert it. It's got the look and it's got the sound. All right, guys, let me give you the lowdown of how you can create your own custom 3 watt amp using an old police radio. This is a Lafayette model HA50. You see, she's got a really cool look. This is actually an older model than the one that I converted but it has the same circuitry. Let me flip it around. So here's the back of the beast. This one's in pretty poor shape, but that is the best way to buy them because you can pick them up for say $20 to $30 because people think they're worthless, right? So what does this do for you? Well, number one, you got a power transformer, you've got a cabinet, and you've got a chassis that you can work with, okay? If you flip them upside down, there's a lot of components under here that you're going to be cutting out and not using. But the heart of this machine will be the power transformer and, if you wish, this output transformer. Okay? Let me go back to top side and tell you how you can run this thing extremely cheap using those two components. Right? So here we go, back to top side. You got your filter cap power supply, all that is in this area, and looky here. That's an audio output tube, and that is a 12AX7 preamp. So if you really want to cheap out, you could use this audio output tube with the existing transformer and the preamp tube, and this thing would probably give you approximately a watt and a half of audio output. And you can see by the size of the little cheap four inch speaker, that that's pretty much all that it could deliver. But if you do the D-Lab method, you'll end up with this, okay? This is the same model radio, but it has a little bit more updated chassis. You see where it says phones? Now that's a power switch. And you remember the controls, we have the tuning knob here, that becomes the input jack. Got a volume and a tone control in this Dial still light, speaker is history. Okay, let's take a look topside. There's not a whole lot going on up here. Now, if you remember looking at the other one, you had this tuning cap, IF cans, tube, all this mess, right? Well, I didn't want to deal with it, so I milled it out and I dropped in my own aluminum plate. I also did not want to be restricted by the little tiny output tube in the 12AX7 here. So I landed my own, my own 12X7 and a 6K6 power tube. Why did I put that over here rather than here? I like to separate my power supply section from my preamp and output section. Okay, so preamp, output, output transformer, and there is where you hook up the speaker. Whereas on the old guy, there is a little terminal board there for an antenna. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. Now. Let's take a look at the bottom of my little amp. 
<laughs> so here is the before and here is the after. You can see there's not much going on down here. We got that original power transformer. I got my new filter cap. Those resistors that I showed you in the schematic. Fuse obviously. It's a good idea to have that. Grounded power cord. Then we shoot over here to the amplifier section. There's my input and it goes direct to the 12AX7 tone circuitry output tube. Now you see my output tube is actually on a recessed platform. Why did I do that? Well, let's go back topside. You'll see it. Okay. So let's take a look at the height of the transformer and the height of that 6K6 tube. If you put this tube level, it would probably hit the new cover, which is here. So I got this beautiful cover, and that will sit back on the amplifier, okay? So it sits level with this front edge. So to put that in perspective, if I didn't lower the output tube, it would probably collide with the upper lid. I really didn't want that. So I took the time to make this hole a little bit bigger and put a little platform underneath. So what does the final product look like? Well, here is the old nasty eBay special acquired for, say, 25 bucks. And here is what you end up with. Give her a little spray bomb, clean her up, get your new circuit in there, and you have a super cool 6K6 police boutique amplifier. All right, so let's review the D-Lab 6K6 police amplifier circuit. The circuit was developed several years ago. I used to build quite a few of these cool little boutique amps. After building the Toyo 6K6 amps and with the response that I got, I thought, okay, we'll put another one of these police radio retrofits out there for you guys. So here is the schematic and you can see it's very simple. So I'm going to start in the upper left and we're just going to walk through it real quick. Okay. So this is your input jack, which is the quarter inch jack on the front of the radio that used to be the tuning control. Okay. You go through, you see your typical 68 K resistor with one meg to ground 12 AX seven with a little bit of mid range boost on the first cathode. Then we're going to go into the tone circuitry, which is very similar to the Fender Champ 5F2 circuit. Okay, so it's just a tone control panning from highs to lows. Then we're going to couple through the gain control to the next stage of the 12AX7. All right, and if you take a look, you'll see there's only approximately 155 volts being applied to the plates of those 12AX7s. We're going to couple again through a 0.022 microfarad cap to the grid of the 6K6. Why did I pick a 6K6? Well, number one, the expense. You can build the same app using a 6V6 if you wish, but that is about an $18 tube, whereas the 6K6s can be acquired for about a dollar or two, okay? And the reason you can get away with the 6K6, let's go through the primary of the output transformer. By the way, this output transformer can be purchased from AES. It's the model P-T31. It's got a 5K primary and only an 8 ohm secondary. All right, let's shoot down to the preamp, or sorry, <laughs> let's shoot down to the power supply. Yeah, I do make mistakes. Anyway, here we go. So here's our AC input. We got a fuse, our switch, and there's your power transformer. This power transformer is the stock transformer that came with the police radio. That's the beauty of this circuit. Okay, there's no 5 volt winding, so I simply used a pair of 1N4007s, rectified the DC, hit our first filter cap, and we're sitting at about 240 volts DC. And if you take a look at the data sheets for a 6K6, that is spot on perfect, okay? 
Then we're gonna go through kind of the Fender Tweed power supply scenario, a 1K, and that shoots up and hits the screens of your 6K6. The 10K with this little filter cap goes over and feeds the plates of the 12AX7s. This circuit is very basic. The parts are minimal, especially for the fact that the main power transformer is supplied with the police radio. How cool is that? All right, All right so I hope you enjoyed that information on how to retrofit an old useless police radio into something useful. And what is that? A cool practice amp. And your friends would be like, where in the heck should you get that thing from, right? Very cool. I had some family over here and my Uncle Bob actually played this amp, all right? He's not a professional player, guys. It's been a long time, but this is a test. So you can hear output from the amp rather than seeing my audio generator putting on a sign. Playing. We're already doing it because I'm, 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 I haven't played. I never played an electric. I've only played it an acoustic. So. But see, I need somebody to test my amps because, as you know, I can build amps, but I don't know how to actually play them. And that's the beauty is because I build these guitar amps, and I don't have any desire to keep them. Now, if I was building ham radio equipment, or test equipment, okay. I'd want to keep all of it, okay. Okay. okay? But in this case, it's all disposable to me. It's just a hobby, okay. and that's why I have you. So you can test it on YouTube, oh. we're, we're rolling right now. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. So everybody, this is Terry D-Lab, and we got a room full of people. <laughs> and they just came here to be part of the video, and I think they're going to donate to D-Lab too. I'm going to pass out a bucket in a few minutes. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Well, they laugh. I don't get it. We'll so, bring him a bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah, excellent. As long as it's a cab. Right? Yeah. Got it. All right. Exactly. So, we got a lot of people here. I've got Jim, and you're visiting from Gainesville, Georgia. Georgia. And of course, you're from Georgia. From Georgia. Atlanta. Uh -huh. Uncle Bob. Yeah. Okay. And Bob, people, is the guy that actually put the bug in me when I was a kid. Okay. He was always out doing business deals, and I was watching and admiring what he did. And at the same time, I was learning the electronic hobby for my dad, and I thought, you know what? If I could marry those two things together, maybe I could make some money doing it. Oh, that's, <laughs> kind, of, that's kind of the idea about yeah. business, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Figure yep. out how to monetize it. Sure enough. So what I'm going to do, I actually built a boutique amp, and none of you have seen it. You haven't seen this one. You've seen ones that I've done in the past, but this is a new design. I'm going to introduce these guys to it, show how it's built, and then Bob's going to play it. Sound good? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, absolutely. So I'm going to swing the camera over here and give you guys a little guide tour of the new project. All right. So what we got here? These are 1970s police radios, low band. Okay. And what I do is I buy these things up on eBay or ham sites. Okay. I pay like maybe twenty, thirty dollars for them, and then I repurpose them. Okay. So if you look at this thing, flip this around. This is the original chassis layout, okay? So it had all your little IF cans, tubes, this and that, and the other thing that would produce audio for the police band, right? So what I do, I buy these up, and what I focus on is this power transformer, okay? So that's the heart of the machine. So I buy this with intentions of turning it into an amp, and I'm going to reuse as much as I can. So I just got a free cabinet, I got a free power transformer, you know, and now we also have the 70s cosmetics that go along with it. So I get on my milling machine and I cut all this out. All right, so then this becomes this. So this is still that same radio, but now wow. it's a guitar amp, okay? So what I did is I reconfigure it using the same power transformer, add an output transformer. So that's what goes to your speaker, okay? It's a two tube amp, so this is a typical preamp tube. And this is what's called a 6K6 tube, which is a, a classic octal-based tube, okay, that they still use in guitar amps today. So but the ones they use today, that's called a 6V6, it's about $18 tube. I can get those for a buck. And it'll play just as good as those expensive tubes. You rock. It's great, man. So what, what we're going to do next, people, is I'm going to get a speaker here. Bob's going to sit down, he's going to plug in, and you're going to play the police radio. Rito? 
Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I also <clears throat> smash. All right. <clears throat> so, Bob, you say you used to play with Eric Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 is, he was just, you know, just before I put him on camera, he was telling me these stories, and now he's backing off on me. What's going on? <laughs> no, 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 no. About, about 60 years ago, Terry, back when there was hoot nannies. You never heard of a hoot nanny before. I yeah, before. heard of that. But it was some guy sitting around with classical guitars, entertaining the viewers. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I learned how to play the classical guitar a little bit, just six or eight strings. Yeah. And then my memory, best memory of this is being at Lake Louise Church Camp up in northern Michigan where I got saved. Mm -hmm. And two or three of us got out on the beach one night yes. and all the young yeah. girls gathered around and yeah. we sang songs. And it was a hoot nanny huh. back hoot in the nanny. dark ages before it. they had, you know, houses and cars and... Yeah, I'll be like that. <laughs> well, you know what? So I, this think, was I think Bob just stuff. named, you just named this boutique camp. We're going to call it the Hoot Nanny. The Hoot Nanny. <laughs> Why not? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Now, now, now look, electrical guitars are, are kind of a different breed of guitar, you know? I mean, I don't even know if my fingers will... Uh, We'll slide on this one. We'll yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. But, so this is yeah. a it's a classic amplifier. So it'll have a nice rich tone. Yeah. Uh, very low power though, but it's great for recording. Okay. Yeah. So you already played it. You tell me you can't play it. No, no, no. I was just seeing if my if my yeah. Yeah, 60 years is an awful long time. Your, your memory about fade, you know, about half my memory is gone anyway, you know. 76 years old, I'm just trying to figure out how to get back and forth to the car. You know, it just, yeah. it, it just kind of goes with the territory, kind of goes with the age. Yeah, you know, my guitar playing years are long gone, but I can sit in front of a camera and sure. jam for about an hour without taking a breath. Well, I've got plenty of uh, film. you got plenty of film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah do, do what you want to do. We can well, I think I have a play. Yeah, I, yeah again, it's a, acoustic guitars are a little bit different. Well, you can tell. And, and if you had a good guitar, you see, I can play it. But this guitar <laughs> is so defective. That's it's what the problem tune. is. It That's really, the problem it is. It is out of tune. And it's not my voice, it's not the quality of my voice, you know, or the, or the ability to play. Yeah. It's the guitar. So yeah. we're, we're kind of at a loss here for some, any real entertainment. Well, you know, your son over here does lay claim. No, play. it's not true. Well, so, listen, you, know, you, can, you, you can believe. A lot of what Paul tells you. Yeah, I do. But that that, <laughs> does, that does leave a little room in there, doesn't it? Especially when he talks about me, yeah. his dad. Yeah. You know. yeah. But I tell you, Terry, you, yeah, I appreciate so much you giving me just an ounce of credit for you getting in this business, because I want to seriously, I want to stand on a table and applaud you for what you have done over the last four decades. Oh, yeah. I, I mean that. You you are a rock star <laughs> and you don't know it. You've got this humility about you that I love. But uh, folks, you, you need to join what D uh, D Lab is doing here and Terry Dayton golly that what a rock star. Right, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you betcha. Right. Okay guys, I hope so, you got your guitar amplifier fix. I'm going to do my best to try to manage the amount of videos I put on for the ham stuff versus the amp stuff. I've got a lot of projects here that I need to present. I just don't have a lot of time. Okay, I'm, I'm extremely busy. I can't tell you guys how busy I am. Okay, I got a new job. My daughter just had a baby a couple days ago. Her name is Myla. Okay, so I'm trying to be grandpa, trying to do my job, trying to do D-Lab. Lots going on, but I promise you, it is only going to get better and better. Just give me time to work things out. It's on the way. Thanks for tuning in.